already out of frame, we've already made the bottom brackets up, welded them in place. Now, the top brackets, they uh, also have pegs on them, and uh, the uh, two brackets that I cut off earlier from this discovery frame also has the pegs here, which provides exactly what we need, it's the right size. It's not over that way you could use an M, M8 or M10 bolt welded in, but I'm going to use these, right? Um, so it's a matter of fit the brackets in place. We could get a measurement bit here, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is, is fit it up, square it up, frame here, mark it, alright, and then I'm going to fit and weld these into place, alright? That's the best way to do it. I've already cleaned up the frame, I've ground it, alright. Uh, one, <laughs> one way that you can do stuff um, in rough engineering is fit everything where it needs to be and then tack into place with a welder, alright. Then remove your brackets, whatever, weld it up properly and then fit it all back in, alright. Uh, you could go by how the Germans probably like to do it and measure everything. Uh, however, I don't really have the time to do that at the moment. Okay, um, top frame. All right, we've got the uh, got the bracket top with the rubber, and uh, this peg that we cut off earlier, uh, we're going to weld on there. All right, but onto the frame. Right. Um, what you'll see here is one of the radiator pegs is going to get in the way. All right, comes through here. Right where the bracket is. We'll just about fit through that hole, but when you actually square this up, it won't be right. So I'm going to cut that off, the uh, angle grinder, um, clean these faces down, fit this bracket temporarily, tack it in place, the pegs, all right, and then uh, weld it up. Okay, well this is basically the idea, all right, you've got your bracket, um, the pegs there, so I'm now going to just tack a bit of weld on either of these two, all right. Um, I've bolted these in place anyway. What you'll notice is also the uh, bolts here. They tend to foul on this bit. Move it too far forward. You probably could just about get away with that. And have your brackets a bit lower. All right. However, I've dropped these dead centre. All right. So the frame at the moment is in line all the way along here. Okay. are now on. Uh, I think I got a bit carried away on welding. It's like driving. Once you get in the driving seat room, you just want to carry on. But yeah, I welded these on there. All right. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stick a bit of paint on there. Uh, this frame I'm going to leave out for now. I've still got to do the uh, power steering pipes and the such like. So <coughs> I'll do those first, and then I can, I'll change this intercooler as well. That was a dummy I've just used to put it together. As you can see, it's not very good condition. All right. Um, yeah, I'll put this together properly. Paint this so it looks fairly decent along with the radiator. And uh, it's always nice to have a black radiator because of the heat absorption. So anyway, yeah, right. So you've seen that. Um, oh, it's not a hit and miss affair to uh, fit and tack welds. Alright, one way to get yourself out of a situation, but the brackets will now fit, they'll hold that in place, so that is the major job on this, 
and this, where you need the welder is for this job, right? So, now we've got that, <laughs> we're, we're skating along. <laughs> 